So we'd like to talk to the general public a little bit about the preventive measures that they can take to reduce the risk of infection. So, so far, the, gen the measures that we can provide are the general measures that are outlined by the WHO and they may seem quite simple. So the most important thing right now at the beginning we would say is to avoid contact with those who have cold or flu-like symptoms. That is if someone is sneezing, coughing, having a sore throat, flu-like symptoms such as a fever, headache or a general ill feeling. And also if you are someone who has these symptoms, I would suggest immediately to get uh, medical help and also to avoid traveling. If you have traveled in the past, make sure to give this travel history to your doctor when you need them. Um, another thing is when you're coughing and sneezing, we'd like you to cover your whole nose and mouth with a tissue. We'd like you to avoid handkerchiefs and once the tissue is used, discard it into a bin immediately. Or if you don't have a tissue, you could sneeze or cough into your flexed elbow. That's also quite effective. After coughing or sneezing, uh, we would like you to wash your hands because this is actually bringing us to the most important and effective method of prevention, washing your hands, hand hygiene. We want to wash your hands with water and soap, not just dipping it in and out, but at least for 20 seconds. Um, and you can also use the alcohol-based hand rub. Uh, this is very important. It may seem very simple, but this is the most important method of prevention at the moment. So you can wash your hands after coughing or sneezing, before, during or after uh, preparing food, before eating, before and after using the bathroom, when caring for sick people, after touching animals and especially after going in public places when you use surfaces that have been touched by other people many times such as door handles, staircase banisters, elevator buttons and if you're using uh, public transport once you've touched surfaces that a lot of other people have touched. Another point is you can avoid eating uncooked or raw meats uh, at the moment or any animal products and while handling uh, raw or uncooked animal products be careful to prevent cross-contamination with other uncooked foods. So now we come to the most important, one of the most important points according to the general public is the issue of the masks. I think there is a lot of panic with a lot of people wondering that they don't have masks because they're out of stock at the moment. We would say don't panic. Um, if you can't find an N95 mask, we don't actually suggest that the general public needs to wear one. Um, it's mostly used in the healthcare sector. However, surgical masks are quite adequate if you use it in the proper way. If you choose to wear a surgical mask, remember the mask will have two surfaces, a coloured surface and a white surface. The white surface should face you, the coloured surface face outside. And make sure that the upper border of the mask includes the bendable, uh, the bendable stiff border that you can mold to your nose. While you're wearing the mask, don't touch the mask with your hands, um, the outer surface and the inner surface. And when you remove it, immediately discard the mask into a nearby bin. Don't let it touch any other surfaces, so just leave it lying around on the table. And most importantly, remember, before wearing the mask and after discarding it, you have to wash your hands. This brings us back to washing hands. If you don't have a 95 mask, that's not a problem. Um, even surgical masks as well as N95 masks because no masks can actually stop viruses going through. What we try to do is try to limit the uh, droplet infection. That is, this is, an, this is a respiratory um, uh, tract infection. So how it spreads is when people sneeze or cough, that splatter comes onto you and to the surrounding surface area. So what the surgical mask does is prevent that splatter reaching you. And if you use a surgical mask covering your nose and mouth properly, that is enough and it's adequate to uh, keep you safe. However, it's not just the mask, it needs to be used with all the other uh, precautions that we mentioned. That is to recap, staying away from crowded, crowded places, getting help if you are sick, as well as the most important one, I say again, washing your hands.